it's awesome. I live in the city of Boston, I grew up here. So being able to work on a project like this, um, of the magnitude, the visibility, and also the complexity has been uh, a, a joy. Every single day you have any, a new challenge. This In this kind of uh, constructions environment, you need to be uh, always proactive to what is, what is next. I think it's the most fantastic project I've done. It was impossible. Everyone gritted their teeth to get through it. But let me tell you, it, it was just so amazing. One experience. And this is probably the project that I'll look back on when I retire from Gilbane. <laughs> it's one of those types of projects that you get to tell your kids about. So when they travel with, uh, maybe it's a, you know their class from school to downtown Houston, they can say, that's where my dad works. So we had a big team um, building this job and everybody was just enthusiastic about performing and attitudes didn't get in the way. We all wanted to learn. We had young folks that wanted to learn. We had old folks like me that wanted to teach and it just was a good mix on the job. So my grandparents were at the 1980 uh, USA Russia game and on my grandfather's deathbed, one of the best memories he ever had was being here for that event. So for me to be able to have a part of it um, really meant a lot to me. And you know, one of the things I always talk to the trade workers with, either at stand downs or um, pre-job meetings, were the fact that what we're building here is it's for lasting generations. Uh, it's a focal point of the Northeast New York. And, you know, people from all over the world travel here to see the historic venues. Learning what I have here, then taking it and applying it to a new job, that's always cool to me, right? Like we have experience from the last one, so let's go on to the next one, use what we've learned, and, you know, make it the best we can be. Definitely uh, success. Um, I can go home at the end of the day and feel pretty fulfilled. There's, um, there's no shortage of work, which is good, you know. Um, so definitely fulfillment, probably one word, fulfillment. We were here for one goal, and that was to finish, build this project to the best of everyone's ability. And uh, I think there was a level of respect that the client had for us. The development that this team has made um, over the course of this job and where they are today is just extraordinary. There was transparency on this job, it was collaboration. Um, there were, we had what we call the big room, uh, down in the, in the um, office where all the architects, designers, and our team would collaborate to keep things on task. So I had a very talented um, team from the field to the, to the project managers and engineers on this job that really dedicated themselves and, and had a really, uh, what I would say, a family culture. It was very rewarding in the sense that I was able to pull from other people and learn different things from each and every one of them because this project, uh, how I like to think about it, was it was really four in one in the sense that it was demo, it was renovation, it was new construction, and there was also some interior build out that we were lucky enough to do. We had a great team, a, a, a dominating team. At the end of the day, everyone did a great job. We worked together collaboratively. Um, we all had, we had one trailer, one family approach. The work that our team put into this building, seeing everybody coming in and out, occupying it, uh, just very proud. I think for all of us, even down to, you know, everyone that walks on the job site, we have a lot of pride. No matter what, we have a lot of pride in what we do and what we build. 